I think a lot of people are finally starting to realize just how dishonest the media are when they talk about what's happening in Palestine as clashes. If these were videos from Ukraine, if they showed Russian soldiers abusing Ukrainians, it would be front page news. You would have no problem looking at that and calling that violence. But because it's happening to Palestinians, oh, now it's a clash. Oh, it's both sides. Look, man, when you have gangs of uniformed thugs draped in riot gear, bursting into a mosque and shooting people with tear gas while they're praying, that's not a clash. That's literally the definition of brutality. And this idea that if Palestinians dare to throw a rock in self-defense at somebody that's tear gassing them, that they're somehow equally to blame. I mean, what is this, this colonial slave mentality? Like, how dare you defend yourself? Accept your oppression, you Arab terrorist. Man, I don't understand people who can sit there and watch an entire people being humiliated, subjugated, and ruthlessly oppressed every day by an occupying military force and then attribute equal blame to unarmed Palestinian civilians. I mean, how morally bankrupt do you have to be to utter such a thing? Huh? To say that Palestinians living under Israeli occupation are just as guilty as the people colonizing them. And then they sell you this idea that this fairy tale that Israel's a democracy, while they're openly beating journalists, beating medics, beating worshippers, beating women. Where are all the Western feminists? Huh? You want to talk about women's rights, but when Palestinian women are being beaten in the street, suddenly you have nothing to say. Look at this Israeli thug swiping his baton on this poor Palestinian woman, breaking her arm for no reason. Where are the champions of women's rights? Where is the outrage in the West? I guess it's her fault for not being born Ukrainian. Maybe if she was Ukrainian instead of Palestinian and Muslim, then people would care. Do you know how insulting that is to go into a holy place while people are praying during Ramadan, beat them up, handcuff them, and just throw them around like sacks of meat? I'm not even Muslim, and I am insulted. I'm offended. And I shudder to think what would happen if Palestinians went into a synagogue and started firing tear gas at people while they're praying. The reaction around the world would be nuclear, and rightfully so. So where's the outrage here? Why the double standard? How can the media see images of this, of Palestinians being handcuffed and thrown around in a place of worship, and all they do is make excuses for Israel? You know, that building... The Aqsa Mosque has been there for over a thousand years. Look how they smash the windows and the doors like it's some used car. And this is the second year in a row that the Israelis have done this. And the last time, a war broke out. You know, Palestinians are living two, three generations as refugees on their own land. They have no state. They have no equal rights, no armed forces. And meanwhile, the Israelis have nuclear weapons, an air force, billions of dollars, being bankrolled by the Americans, and they have the complete political backing of the Western media, and you call that a level playing field. There is nothing about this that is even remotely comparable. Anybody calling this a clash or going, oh, it's complicated, is either clueless or being dishonest. And the media, they always have these colorful, creative ways to avoid saying that Israel is occupying Palestine. Oh, it's both sides being violent. Oh, there are tensions because it's Easter and Passover and Ramadan coinciding. No, 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 no. Get one thing straight. There are no tensions between Muslims and Christians and Jews. There are only tensions between colonizers and the colonized. Get that straight.